Bags Unlimited has a new and exciting comic mailer in two different depths to provide maximum protection for your comic. For best results, we like to pre-fold all the scores. Also, I like to start with a filler pad to square the mailer and make things easier. Notice the deep crush zones on all four sides of the comic books. The panel sides of the mailer have double walled thickness to protect against punctures and bending. The finished mailer is a snap to assemble, strong, and size right to be shipped with any method. Real world shipping tests offer the best indication of how our mailer is going to perform. We have two mailer sizes, a mailer for up to 10 comics and a mailer for up to 3. We shipped both sizes UPS and Post Office Priority Mail. The mailers shipped from New York to California and back and were processed twice. The Priority mail mailers sustained less abuse compared to the UPS mailers. The 10 comic mailers shipped through the post office had minimal damage to the crush zones and the panels looked okay. Overall, looking good. Let's open it. The comics were individually bagged and backed, but I also unitized all 10 in a master bag to minimize movement. Did these comics ship well? Looks like they did to me. All the corners are unscathed. The three comic mailers sent through the post office shows crush zones with a little more abuse, but they're not too bad. The panels seem okay. Let's open the mailer and see. The crush zones look like they did their job. The side crush zones look perfect, so I'm thinking the comics will look good. The three comics were bagged and backed with one filler on the bottom. Overall, the comics look good. No damage edges, front covers are pristine, backing show no corner damage. I'd say this was a success. The 10 comic mailer that was shipped through UPS absorbed more impacts at the crush zones than the mailer on the right here, shipped priority mail. The panels appear to be intact, but there's a lot of scuffing on the panels. UPS must have rough processing. The mailer looks good, and it looks like no damage past the crush zones. Let's open it up. It looks like the crush zones did their job, and they left the internal area of the mailer damage free. We ship 10 comics, no fillers, on the bottom or the top. I prefer at least one filler at the bottom. Comics look good, no visible edge damage so far. I want to point out that we went to extremes on this test. We only bagged the books, no backing boards and no unitizing the pack, and no fillers. And the edges still look crisp. The crush areas are crumpled in. Something really whacked this mailer. A machine? A person throwing it? Who knows? But let's open it up. The crush zone's crushed, absorbing the impacts. Inside looks good. Side to side crush zones saw zero damage. This was a pretty substantial impact. Might have ripped on a machine, but we'll never know. There's a small dent on the filler pad. We will watch that. Comics we unitized and taped to filler pads. I'm not a huge fan of taping between the two filler pads. People have to be extra careful with the knife when opening. It's hard to do when you are excited and start manhandling this to get the comics. The third, second, and first comics look good. That first comic was the one closest to the dented pad and it looks undamaged. This mailer sustained the most shipping damage in our tests, but the comics were still perfect on arrival. 